So this is the butterfly embroidery kit. So it's mainly created in satin stitch with some beads and a little bit of back stitch. So the reason I've done it like this is so that beginners can learn how to do their satin stitch and people who have a bit more experience in embroidery can just spend time perfecting it um, because it's one of those stitches that's really quite easy to do but at the same time um, there is uh, a lot of improvement that you can make. So you can see that I've already created this half and I'm just going to do a few demonstrations on this half for you. So I'm going to start by showing you how to do this navy satin stitch. So the navy uh, satin stitch is what's going to cover all of these uh, large black printed areas on your fabric. So how we do satin stitch is we're going to come up through the fabric on one side and then we're going to go down through the fabric on the opposite side of the shape and then we're going to come back up next to you that very first stitch and down next to the very first stitch so it's almost like we're looping the thread around the fabric because we're coming up and going down on opposite sides of the shape so i'm going to start somewhere around here um, and that's just to kind of show you how you would start off a section a satin stitch um, the direction of your satin stitch in your wing is completely up to you. Um, I've, you can see from this side, I've decided to do mine um, so that the top wings are kind of pointing in and the bottom wings are painting up. Um, and again, I've done the same here. So my big tip would be to mirror what you've done on one side on the other side. So since this side I've gone in this direction, I'm going to mirror it and come in this direction on this side um, and that's just to make it look uh, uniform on both sides um, but it's completely up to you if you want to do the whole thing with your satin stitch going upwards or sideways um, you completely can um, basically it's just important that when you're laying down your stitches um, they do lay down side by side and that's just to get good coverage um, so that you can't see any of these black areas when you finish stitching so I'm going to come up through the fabric down here. So the black marks are only a guide. You do need to make sure that all of the black areas are filled. Otherwise, you will be able to see them because they are printed on. They can't be removed. But if you go into any of the yellow area, that's absolutely fine. So once you come up through the fabric uh, along the edge of your outline, you can kind of get an idea of where you go through the fabric is going to change the angle of your stitch. So I want mine to sit at about that kind of angle because that's the direction that I'm uh, kind of doing my wing in. You can see from the stitches I've already done that it isn't perfect. Um, it's very difficult when you're piecing together different sections to get satin stitch. It's absolutely in the same direction the whole way. Um, so you can see that mine is very slightly off in terms of the angle, but that's absolutely fine. Um, it's just kind of a rough, a rough guide. So I'm going to go down through the fabric about here. So the other side of the black outline and pull through the fabric. So it's going to be a nice long straight stitch like that. And then what you're going to do is you're going to come up through the fabric right next to where you did your last stitch. So you can see that the black area is slightly further down now. But you're going to come up through the fabric and you're going to lay the stitch down right next to your previous stitch. So to do that, you're going to go down through the fabric right next to where you finish your previous stitch so do you see how you've now got two stitches side by side and they're really good at blocking all that area out and basically what you do is you just continue doing this the whole way over your black outline shapes so as i'm laying these down you can see that the only thing 
that's changing is the start and the end place um because i'm just following this outline i'm not going in a straight line i'm following the outline of the black so i'm just going to continue this until i've completed all of this section okay so these are really long stitches at the moment just because they're, they're large black areas but you can see that we're coming to an area where our our black outline has a break in it so you can see here that this is actually a yellow section so i don't want to do another stitch that comes from right down here because then we're going to start covering this yellow section which we don't want to do so what we're going to do is we're going to pick back up on the bottom of the black shape so you can see that this black area here comes from there to the top bit there so we're just going to continue doing exactly what we've been doing before but our bottom line is now here so it's almost like you're coloring in all the black sections with thread you're just kind of covering them over so we're going to follow exactly the same principle it's just a much shorter stitch because the black area that we're filling is much smaller and we're just going to keep going until you either meet another part of your stitching like you would here or if you were doing a section down here until you've completely filled the black area okay so you can now see that that area has been really nicely filled all in satin stitch so what you would do is just continue until you've uh, completed filling all of the big black sections that have been printed on your fabric what i've done is i've completed the navy section first so i've completed that because i find it easier to get all of these outlines completely filled and then I can go back and fill in all the extra little yellow sections which really pop um, with the other threads um, as specified in the key. Um, so I really would suggest doing that. Um, it is really important that you put the beads on after you put on uh, the navy stitching. If you decide that you would like to... Um, Put the other colours down first, that is okay, but definitely put the beads on last, um, otherwise it's really difficult to get the thread underneath them.